So Lou asks, do you use sectors to decide what you trade daily? I use like much Pete, he's got his kind of way of scanning the markets and looking for the best stocks on any given day. I have my own scanning process that I go through to figure out which are the currency pairs to trade that day. And so it's not necessarily sectors, but I use like calendars and momentum. So this is just some screenshots from Forex, Forex Factory. And that's one of my favorite websites on the planet, but I use it every single day. And what I'm using it every single day for is I'm using it for, hey, what type of events do I have that are coming up and going to shake the market? And I time a lot of the events that I do. I do these like live events. I'll time it around. I actually have one tomorrow morning here. Actually, it's showing here, right? It's here December 9th, tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. We have some inflation numbers that are actually going to hit. So before 8.30, I'm actually going to be running a, a live trading room. And we're going to trade that inflation. So Lou, I don't know if I'm going to buy or sell before that report, but based off of how that report comes out, I'm going to try to make a play on it. And one of the things that I teach and go through with people is like these type of reports and how they come out, but what type of play do I make? And the other one's just the momentum. I'll look at how a market's performing over periods of time. And then I'll use that to basically create biases of, am I going to buy something or sell something? I go through a lot of, I use different kind of like reports and some big, some big picture analysis. As I mentioned, like I don't necessarily, listen, do not have a PhD in economics, but I understand just the very few basic moving parts. I think you just need, if I can just get you to level economics, I feel like you can be a pretty good uh, currency trader. And so I have a, a different type of daily routine that I go through. And so I'll be looking at uh, different reports and headlines and push notifications. These are things that I will be obviously be going over with you if any of you decide to go into this world with me. And I actually I uh, use a Discord to share things or try to share things as they as they come out. But the central bank are basically, the central banks become really the uh, the biggest major focus for me you don't have, like the thing about central banks and is you don't look at this like oh my god that just sounds so tedious or boring or whatever but it, it's really not monetary policy really only changes they have like big policy announcements really what like once a major ones like maybe once a quarter like lately because of the way that we've had kind of interest rates hikes like month after month but that's not necessarily common, but uh, there's some things I look at. All I got to figure out is how is the market pricing in rate hikes? I'm going to try to buy that currency up if they're, and then it's like kind of vice versa, but you'll, we'll get into that.